Since I saw a video on YouTube about melting HDPE, which is Plastic Coat 2, I wanted to try it. One of the most common sources of HDPE is grocery bags. These I'm hoping to put in this can, melt with the drill master heat gun, tamp it down with this. Ideally I would have a circle of wood that was the same diameter as the can and I would tamp it down with that. But this is just an experiment. Um, and when you melt HDPE in a can like this, you, you got to tear the can up to get it out. Okay, so we're going to try this. I have a bunch of fire bricks around this for structural support, not necessarily for heat support, just something heavy that will hold it in place. So it's melting it right away. There's the first problem, it sticks to the end of the wood. Now I want to melt it, I don't want to burn it. So you can see one bag, not even compressed, is only that big. And you don't really melt this to a liquid state, you melt it to a pliable state. Okay, I'm probably going to look at this as like a pre-melt. I've got to get something around, but th this is going to work. The goal is to fill all this up with plastic. That's packed tight, and then I can uh, then I can put it on a lathe and turn a mallet out of it. That's my goal. But if I can get it on the lathe, I can make about anything out of it. Okay, I turned this on the lathe just as an exercise. It's pine, it's not even a good finish, but I think it'll be okay for this use. Okay, as you can see, it just keeps getting smaller and smaller, and it's got crevices down and around it. I've almost got to take this and put down in those crevices to fill them, because remember, this doesn't flow very well. It's not a liquid. I'm planning on building a plastic shredder for, like, milk jugs. I think what I'm better off to do is melt this into chunks than shred it into manageable pieces. This film is not very manageable. There's no way I'm going to get that all the air out of that and have a solid structure. But I can melt this. If I had a milk jug that I'd cut up into small pieces, I could drop it in, tamp it down, and fill the holes as I go. This on the other hand doesn't compress well till it really melts, and by then it's too late to get it down in the cracks and crevices. Just melting this and I can chip it up and it'll be chunks of plastic that... So I might have half a can. Up to about here. So it's going to be a long, long, long process of putting that in there. So there's the answer to my question. Will the Drillmaster heat gun melt HDPE2 grocery bags? Yes, it will. It takes forever and a day, but that's not a... The heat gun's melting that just fine. You actually don't want more heat than that's putting out because you could burn and scorch the plastic. Better off to leave it like this keep compressing that over and over again till you fill up the can then you can uh, then you have a nice big mass of HDPE to work with so if you like the videos please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching